Hi there guys, my name is Danielle. You can call me Danny and welcome to my channel. Today I had an amazing idea <laughs> and I'm calling this the best affordable foundations and concealers. Now I had this idea from Tati Westbrook and also known as Glam Life Guru. She does this sort of thing where she calls it um, makeup graveyard or something like that where she clears out her makeup drawers and only keeps the best and then she sort of does a video where she tells you why she picked it and why it's the best the affordable kind and then she'll do another one with like the more prestige kind and stuff like that and I thought it was an amazing idea I really like it because it definitely taught me like more things to try more affordable more high-end type things and I thought it'd be a great idea to sort of grab from that and sort of broaden it just a little bit more and I just want to thank you so much Tati for giving me this inspiration and I will leave her link down below so you can go ahead and subscribe to her and also of course tell her I sent you. <laughs> Alright so I have been doing makeup for about two three years now and I have gone through foundations, concealers, eyeliners, eyeshadows, I've every piece of makeup you could think of from high end to low end to drugstore to prestige stores to pretty much anything you could think of and I want to tell you what I have found to be amazing for me and can hopefully be amazing for you especially if you have close to my skin type now remember I am very dry skin so that means my skin is definitely a little more drier than others and it doesn't get oily as much. The only time I get oily is on my nose and that's not even oil, it's sweat because I'm always hot for some reason. <laughs> I know, I'm weird. <laughs> and so then these products I found work for me and hopefully they can definitely work out for you. And even if you're not as dry as me, these still work amazing for like oily skins because they're also matte so if you're dry skin and you want that still want that matte finish these are gonna be amazing but sometimes I like a more dewy finish so I have some products that are also gonna work well for that so I love how I have this nice little variety pack for you whether you have dry oily or combination or normal skin I hope these will help out you to process elimination you know all right guys Let's get started. So the first thing I want to tell you about is my foundations. I have four foundations that are really affordable, amazing, and work really well. So the very first foundation that I have come to found is the Makeup Revolution London Fast Base Foundation Stick. Ha, I remembered it. <laughs> this is in the shade 10 and I really love it. If you guys remember, I tried this with the full face of First Impressions. And at first I really didn't like it, but then I tried it out more. And I found out like it wasn't doing that full coverage that I wanted, but it gave me that nice hydrated glow that I do like. So I decided to keep it and sort of experiment with it, which comes into play my second favorite foundation. This is the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. This is an amazing foundation. Lots of people like it and it's just really good in general. I put these two together and I create an amazing matte finish face that stays all day but yet underneath is nice and dewy glowy and hydrating so the makeup revolution one is only nine dollars which is an amazing price for a foundation you get 0.21 ounces in this stick and to be honest it actually lasts a long time I use it almost every day on a regular basis when I'm working and I put a few strips around the face and then the Super Stay Foundation is $11.99, which is only $12, which is also in a really amazing price for a foundation. And this one comes with one fluid ounce, which is definitely more than this one, but it works very well too, especially together. Now I get it, you don't wanna buy two different foundations, it's a lot of work. I definitely understand that, but if you are dry skin and you like that matte finish, but you wanna stay hydrated, it's gonna be really, really hard to find a really good, affordable foundation. There are definitely a lot of high-end brands that have some really great formulas, that have some really great formulas, but the price point is really expensive. And so then, by adding these two together, it creates less than $20, which is less than the price of one high-end foundation. And so then, this is definitely a more medium coverage type of foundation. 
So if you have nice, really smooth skin that's really even and you're really dry, then you're definitely going to like this one if you like that dewy finish. Or you can set a nice powder over it, make it just a little bit more matte if you want that matte finish. But if you're like me and have a bunch of like red spots and just sort of like a really pale skin, like on my face and not everywhere else, <laughs> then this is definitely not the type of coverage that you want, which is also another reason why I put it on top or put it technically I put it on bottom and put the super stay on top just to create another coverage for that. The next foundations I have are the Maybelline Fit Me foundations. The first one is the matte and poreless. This is for normal to oily skin, but I like using it on more like summer sunny days because I get more sweaty. <laughs> and this is really great for me because since I get sweaty and I'm like a really hot person, so you know, even when it's not hot, I'm still sweating. So this is really great for me. It's also more of like a medium to full coverage. I can only get it to a medium coverage. It has to be like a really good day for me to get it as a full coverage type. But it's also really good for me because when it is summer, I get a little more tan, especially my face. So then I just need a little bit more coverage than my full coverage type days. These are sold for only $7.99, which is $8. Definitely an amazing price. And you get one fluid ounce in each one. The only thing that I don't like about these foundation is that they don't have a pump. So it's definitely a little bit um, unsanitary, like even you can see right here, there's a piece of Maya's hair there. So of course, it's a little gross, especially on my end, but that's okay. If you can usually just dab it on the back of your hand, then use a beauty blender and do that. Sometimes I do that just because I don't really want to go straight from the bottle. And then the last foundation that I have come to actually really enjoy is the Wet n Wild foundation, the Photo Focus. Now, I have had a really bad experience with Wet n Wild back in the day when I first started out with makeup. I tried out their eyeshadows and they were terrible. I did try out their lipsticks. They were really drying. I really did not like them. And so then I stopped using them. Then. Uh, when I started more getting into watching YouTube and makeup gurus and stuff like that, they always praised Wet n Wild. And so then I said, maybe they changed their formula. And I tried it again, and it definitely did not work again. I tried their eyeshadow, still patchy, still bad, like I remember. And I tried their lipstick, still really drying, still not so good. And then people are still raving about Wet n Wild to this day and especially this foundation so I decided to give them a third chance and you know the saying third times the charm and I think that actually really works in this case I actually really enjoy this foundation it is a very good coverage it's more of like a like a full buildable type coverage because it definitely smooths out the face but it doesn't cover all the redness that I have and that's okay sometimes I like to keep my redness so then I don't have to add blush or sometimes I just like to keep it just keep that redness just so because like maybe I'm having like a really like short day or I have to work like a double shift that day and I don't want to wear a bunch of makeup you know and so then I really enjoy that and it's really hydrating it's semi matte so it's not gonna dry down super matte on the face which I like so then all I do is just add some setting powder here and then a little bit out on the outer zone of my face and I'm good I'm set I really enjoy this and you can buy the wet n wild for only $5.99 which is amazing price for a foundation and then in this one you also get a one uh, fluid ounce with it. The Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick costs $9 and it comes in 18 different shades. You can find it at Ulta or on their website. I'll make sure to leave them down below. The Maybelline Super Stay Foundation costs $11.99 and has 28 shades. You can find it at Ulta, Walmart, Target, and lots of other drugstores and sort of big, what are they called? I forget, what are they, like supermarkets? I don't know. You can find it pretty much everywhere and you can also find it on their website. I'll leave it down below. Next are the Maybelline Fit Me Foundations, the Matte and Poreless, and the Dewy Smooth. Both sell for $7.99. The Matte and Poreless have 30, I wanna say 38 shades, and the Dewy has 24 shades. 
and you can find it at Ulta, Walmart, Target, and other drugstore and supermarkets as well. The last place is Wet n Wild and they have, I want to say, Wet n Wild has 20 shades, sells for $5.99 and you can find them at Walmart, Ulta, and pretty much other drugstore places as well. <laughs> And now, let's head over to the concealers. Now for the concealers, I only have three recommendations for you that are super amazing and go from different ranges. So the very first one is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is the best concealer I have ever had in my life. This is amazing, I have like 20 backups and I love it. This one costs only $7. Yes, cost $7. This small one cost $7 and they have now created a bigger size for $10, which is amazing because you only get, what is it, 0.14 grams in this one. I'm not sure how much you get in the bigger one, but it's definitely a good size when a brand sees that people really enjoy a product and they create a bigger size with it. And this one is very well said as if a dupe for Tarte, but Tarte is a very full coverage and very drying concealer. While this one on the other hand is not drying whatsoever, it looks really natural on the skin, which is why I really love this one. So I wouldn't really call this a dupe for Tarte, but the packaging does kind of look like Tarte, but I find it way hydrating and way more natural looking than Tarte concealer. If you're looking for one that's more of a Tarte concealer dupe, I definitely go for the Studio Pro by BH Cosmetics, the Total Coverage Concealer. This concealer is really amazing. It is way full coverage and literally blends like a dream though. I love this one because it has that full coverage like the Tarte Cosmetics, but it's not drying whatsoever. It's very hydrating and it doesn't cling to my under eye circles or my under eye bags, which is really good for me because y'all know I have a lot of under eye bags because your girl don't sleep. And this costs only $6, which is really amazing and really affordable for concealer. It comes with, let me see if I can find it, 0.46 fluid ounces, which is also really amazing for a concealer to have almost the same amount as if like a foundation or even I think it's more than this foundation this is actually more fluid ounces than the makeup revolution stick foundation which is actually really like mind-blowing to be honest now the last one I have is by LA girl this one is a really good one but this one to me is more of a sheer to medium coverage type of concealer. This is definitely more for like spot concealing or if you want definitely more of a natural look, don't want to look like you have a lot of makeup on or any makeup on, then I definitely recommend LA Girl. I have come to find that she does not do a full coverage type of look. She is, although, very blendable and very easy to work with. And for $4.99, definitely not a bad deal. It is amazing. It comes with 0.28 fluid ounces, which is also really good. It's still more than the Makeup Revolution stick, although I do, although I would definitely prefer the Makeup Revolution stick more to the LA Girl. This is only if you definitely want a more natural type of look. It's definitely not the type if you're doing like a full face cake makeup like I am. So the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer costs $7 or you can get the bigger size for $10 and they have 24 shades. You can find it at Ulta or on their website which I will leave down below. The BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Concealer, it only costs $6 and they have 12 shades. You can find them at Ulta or on their website, which I will also leave down below. The LA Girl is also really good, but it's more for naturalness and just an overall soft look. It costs $4.99 and they have 43 amazing shades. You can find this at Ulta or I think they might have other retailers, I'm not very sure. And you can also find them on their website, which I will also leave them down below. All right, guys, that is all the affordable foundations and concealers that I have found and used many times and have gone back to time and time again over any other ones. And that is my secret for you. I love these and 
I really hope this helps you into finding a good foundation for you at a definitely affordable price because I know not many people work and not a lot of people have the money to buy really high-end products and to get really affordable things and create a more high-end looking finish is an amazing deal and can be achieved so easily but yet so hard at the same time and so then I did all the whole and so then I did all the hard work for you and found them and hope this helps you very much. If this video did help you, please give this video a big thumbs up down below so I know. And also leave a comment down below if you use any of these foundations or if you tried it and it worked for you. I would love to hear it. Also, I definitely want to make this a series on my channel where I try where I tell you the best affordable things like lipsticks, eyeshadows, mascaras, eyebrow stuff, all that type of thing. So if you like the idea of that, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I post every Friday now, which is an amazing deal because your girl definitely tired, but she will keep doing this because I love doing this and I just get so much fun doing this and I've honestly never been so excited to film. I have so many ideas on the way and I hope you guys are here for it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you know when I upload my next video. And also, let's see, how about let's share this video, you know, let's show another friend how to get a good foundation for them because maybe they don't know. <laughs> Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you next Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notifications. Make sure to give this video a like and follow all my social media. The links will be down below as usual. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you next Friday.